Hello and welcome back to Linus and Chuck, where today I'll be teaching you the double controlled throw. For this move, you'll be starting out with your normal controlled throw and going directly into a second throw. To learn this move, I would suggest that you already know a few throws, so if you'd like to see tutorials to a few different kinds, either click up here or check for the links in the description below. So let's get started in a front grip, because this will be the starting position for your first controlled throw. Your first step is to bring your nunchuck from a front grip into a back grip using your front grip to back grip wrist roll. To do this, swing the nunchuck upwards in front of your body and downwards off to the side so that it wraps across the top of your hand like this. From here, release the nunchuck that you're holding onto, turn your hand to grab onto the other nunchuck, and swing the other end around. The next step is to use your back grip to release the nunchuck so that it will go flying through the air and rotate. The key to this part is to practice your release so that the nunchuck will fly consistently with the same amount of rotations each time. This will allow you to repeat the process and then add the second throw onto it. As your nunchucks are rotating through the air, position the hand which you just used to release the nunchucks in front of your body with your thumb pointing downwards so that the nunchuck will be able to rotate into your hand and you'll be holding on to the nunchuck in a back grip. This is important because if you don't end up in a back grip, you won't be able to perform the second throw. After you've caught the nunchuck in a back grip, allow the nunchuck that you're swinging to rotate downwards and upwards in front of your body, which is where you'll be releasing your nunchuck from your back grip and back into your throw. From here, allow your nunchucks to perform about one or two rotations in the air before once again positioning your hand with your thumb pointing downwards and your palm facing off to the side in front of you so that the nunchuck can rotate into your hand and you'll be once again in a back grip. From there, you can transition into whatever back grip moves you want to do and keep your nunchuck spinning. So once again, start out in a front grip, perform your front grip to back grip wrist roll. After performing your wrist roll, go immediately into releasing the nunchuck and allow it to rotate through the air. Your front grip to back grip wrist roll will allow you to align the nunchuck properly to give you the right amount of spin and alignment in order to perform your throw in a controlled manner. After your nunchucks have performed about one and a half to two rotations in the air, position your hand with your thumb pointing downwards in front of your body, allowing the nunchucks to rotate into them so that you'll be holding onto them in a back grip. Grab onto your nunchuck and perform what I would say is about three quarters of a rotation. Bring your nunchuck upwards in front of your body before releasing it again, allowing it to once again go through the air, performing about one to two rotations in the air. For your second catch, once again, position your hand in front of your body with your palm facing off to the side and your thumb pointing downwards so that the nunchuck can rotate into your hand so that you're holding onto it in a back grip and you can continue spinning. Here's the full move in slow motion and at normal speed. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in the future and go check out some variety of other non-truck related tutorials that I have on my channel.